Hi, welcome back to Jason Morgan Wildlife Art. Today I'm going to show you a demo painting a leopard cub's eye. It's a painting I've recently completed as a commission and I thought I'd video the eye section because the eyes are really the center point of this painting. You can see in the video I've just started to block in the darks, the main darks, and I'm using Alkid oil paints, which are just like normal oils, they just dry by the next morning. And I'm re-establishing or establishing the darks with just a, a real dark mix made from lamp black and they've also put in some burnt umber as well and I'm just blocking in the dark areas just so I can build the highlights on those later on I'm using a standard round synthetic brush there's nothing special about the brushes at all but I am brushing in the direction of hair when I'm near the um, eyelids and, and uh, eyelashes and things like that. I'm resting my hand on a, an old stick, it's just called a marl stick and it's just a bit of uh, two by quarter and I put some masking tape on the top and a bit of a rolled up t-shirt. Here I've started to block in the base of the eye colour and it's mainly Naples yellow, a tiny bit of ultramarine blue and a, maybe a little bit of lamp black just to grey the mixture off, just to dull it off and I'm just blocking in the basic overall colour of the iris. Just going carefully as I go towards the edge. I don't want to dirty the darks up too much if I can possibly help it at this stage. So I'm just scrubbing in and this is just a, a standard bristle flat brush. Just add a little bit more ultramarine blue and black to the mix just to darken it for this area that surrounds the pupil. Just warm the mix up with some burnt sienna. Just to create that dark edge on the iris. And that's all going to add to the, the overall feel of roundness to the eye. And the top especially you'll find on most of the animal eyes generally blurs right into the dark eye area around and it creates a lost edge. constantly looking at my reference photo and trying to judge an area that perhaps needs to be darker or lighter and I've started to block in the white the white area of the eye it's not very often on a, a wildlife painting you actually see the the white area of an eye which you see so pronounced in human eyes and it's only because the cat is looking at such an acute angle that it, I can actually see it in this reference but notice that even though it's the white of the eye, the colour is anything but white. It's really a dirty grey blue. Much darker at the bottom than the top. And it's made mainly from ultramarine blue, a little black and a little bit of titanium white. And just for the video, I've got to create some unusual angles to paint that just so that I'm not actually in front of the camera. But I normally wouldn't have my hand at that angle. And generally, as you will see on, on my um, three-hour masterclass, light bounces around in the eye. So if it's dark at the top, generally the light is shining onto the midsection of the eye and it'll create a much lighter area at the lower section of the eye. And all this is explained in massive amount of detail on my eye painting masterclass video. Just blocking in the pupil now with just plain black, just lamp black. And a little bit goes over that section I've left out, which will be for the highlight later on. I'm just quite carefully looking at my reference and assessing the, the shape of the pupil. 
because they're not in animal eyes they're not very often a, a perfect round circle so you really need to study and make sure you get the shape correct now I'm just building up that black area around a little bit thicker paint just checking that I've got the correct shape of the eye cutting in a little bit with the paint if I need to alter the shape slightly and now creating that dark edge around the iris and that really starts to give the eye much more shape and form very often not a very sharp edge where the eye meets the, the skin so a very light brush stroke can create that blurred edge that makes it look much more realistic I've added a little bit more ultramarine blue just to green the mix a bit more just to create that darker edge and now I've gone even darker at the top with some burnt sienna, burnt umber added to my overall mix and that's creating that cast shadow from the, the cub's brow. I'm just getting a much darker edge to that iris. And that's really starting to give much more shape and form. But nothing really comes together and looks glassy until the highlight is, is uh, put on at the latter stages. The eye will always look really quite dead until those those uh, final highlights are put on. I'm not actually showing the reference that I'm painting from here as I just briefly set up the camera to record it but if you'd like to see me painting from a reference with the reference by the side and also see every single paint mix I make with the palette by the side then if you grab my Masterclass eye painting DVD and download it's all covered on there in really fine detail. Okay just start to add some of the the wet reflected highlights and those lighter areas to the blacks the black fleshy parts around the eye and I'll start to give much more shape to that area as you can see I've used pretty much the same one or two brushes all the way through the painting Just made up a, a light mix with some white added to my dark mix. And I'm just putting in some of those reflected lights. Which all really starts to add to the realism now. But remember this is still Jesse underpainting. At later stages I will come over it with glazes and a few more details and make it a little bit more accurate again. But this will be fine for the blocking in stage. Punching that white up a little bit more. Also adjusting the shape slightly. Now I'll start to put on the highlights and in this case 
there's quite a lot of reflection of the color of the sky, the blue sky above. So it's not really a, a pure white highlight. And I find that the blues generally make the, the reflections look even more realistic. And it's much lighter in this area of the eye. And I'm using a very light stroke with quite thick paint. And then lightening up the bounce light at the bottom, which is a, a really important area to get correct for realistic eye paintings. And then softening the edge just with a very light brush stroke, just blending it in. Now I'm looking at the eye as a whole and I'm assessing which areas need to be adju adjusted. Re-establishing the shape of the eye, the shape of the pupil. Blending the edges out a little bit, just to make them a little bit fuzzy looking, rather than too sharp and too cut out looking. Now I'm just punching up those final highlights. And I'm taking this to a level that I wouldn't normally do on an underpainting, but, but it's showing you a little bit more on how I create an eye. Hope you've enjoyed this short demo, and please take a look at my Painting Eyes Masterclass DVD. On my tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk, I've got lots of full length videos, some up to eight or nine hours long. I've got ebooks on there as well. If you're looking for reference photos, because sometimes it's really hard to get very good, decent, copyright free reference photos you can paint and draw from. My website, www.wildlifeart-online.com has got about 900 or more photographs on there. Or perhaps you'd like to join my art community where every month I put up new videos, new reference photos, new wildlife line art. So that's patreon.com forward slash wildlife art. Love to see you on one of those soon or even here on my YouTube channel.